Well, a car ferry into and out of northeast Wisconsin is going to have to make at least one major change who wants to keep operating on Lake Michigan. The SS Badger carries people and vehicles from Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc. And the Environmental Protection Agency says the ship has three years to stop dumping coal ash into the lake. As Fox 11's Robert Hornacek shows us, the company says it will meet the deadline. More than 100,000 people make the trip across Lake Michigan on the SS Badger every year. They literally drop thousands and thousands of visitors on our doorstep every year. Kathleen Gallus is the president of the Manitowoc Area Visitor and Convention Bureau. The Badger is extremely important to Manitowoc County. Uh, it contributes largely to our historic ties that we have. Uh, with a maritime nautical effect. But if the ship is to continue operating, the EPA says it has to make some big changes by 2012. The issue is coal slurry, a mixture of coal, ash, and water. The crew dumps the waste about five miles from shore on each trip. The company that operates the Badger says it will meet the deadline. My father-in-law, when he started the business back up, said he wanted the boats to run another 100 years, and I, I figured out I have 83 years left. So uh, that's my commitment. CEO Bob Manglet says the slurry has been tested and is not hazardous. But it, what it basically is is sand. Um, and it's, it's the same thing that's been discharged for 100 years. Despite what the company says, some environmentalists say it's about time the SS Badger stops dumping its coal slurry in the lake. Anything other than water adds to the load of the lake. Rebecca Caters from the Clean Water Action Council says the decision is long overdue. We're very lucky to have such a beautiful supply of fresh water. We're the envy of the world. It's a resource that needs to be protected. The company now has to find a new way to operate the Badger. The options include using the existing boiler with a different fuel, hauling the coal ash to a landfill, or switching to diesel. The company has three years to find a solution. In Manitowoc, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News. For decades, the EPA did not regulate discharges from the ships. That changed after some states and environmental groups sued. Those groups believe the discharge was to blame for introducing invasive species like zebra mussels to the Great Lakes.